Welcome to week five of our Zero Energy Design course. I hope you learned a lot from week four. This week we will focus on step three, produce, about the generation of renewable energy in or around your building. Let's have a short look backwards first. Last week you were taught about the reuse of energy and the technology available for that. You learned about heat exchanges and the potential source of heat. Also various types of energy storage were discussed. And the technology and use of heat pumps and air conditioners was explained. You also learned how energy can be exchanged in an urban setting, where different functions have different energy patterns. I hope you managed to find reuse strategies for your own building. And now we will start week five, which is dedicated to the production of renewable energy. It starts with the last mini documentary about Pulse, the educational building of TU Delft, followed by a more elaborate explanation of the design decisions and energy technology used in the building. Siebe Broesma will then continue with a lesson on solar energy technology for buildings. And this is followed by Leo Gammons, who will present various options for the use of biomass as energy source. And finally, Michiel Vremau will go into the environmental energy, including air, water, soil and deep geothermal heat. I want to clarify that we cannot discuss all renewable energy potentials. There are many more options of renewable energy production, fuel, electricity or heat, which are not commonly generated within the built environment. For instance, concentrated solar power, wind turbines, wave power, tidal power, hydroelectric plants, industrialized forms of biomass and e-refineries, as well as energy from waste incineration will not be discussed because they are seldom connected to buildings or neighborhoods. Nonetheless, I hope we will show you enough examples of effective energy generation within the built environment, which you can use for your own building. With that in mind, I can give you this week's assignment. This week, you will see a lot of options for renewable energy production. After the steps you took in the weeks before, which forms of renewable energy do you still need? Propose the strategies and measures that you deem suited for your building. Calculate the remaining demand of electrical energy, which has to be supplied by solar panels, photovoltaics. How much of these and which type of PV do you need for your building? Where do you put this amount of PV? Draw it in your schemes. Of course, I hope you, you, I hope you can integrate the PV required into your building envelope well to avoid unesthetical use of solar technology. Perhaps it was difficult for you to calculate the savings made by measures taken in the weeks before. In that case, assume 50% savings on the original energy use of your building. Clear? Then I wish you good luck and fun with the film and lessons of this week.